Hey guys, how's it going? So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to perform symbolic differentiation as well as integration using Python. So in one of my previous tutorials, I already showed you guys how to install Python as well as the necessary libraries for scientific programming such as SymPy, SciPy, Matplotlib, NumPy, etc. So in this tutorial, we'll be using the library SymPy, which is essentially for symbolic computation using Python and we'll be using it to perform two very crucial and very useful operations such as symbolic differentiation as well as integration. So um, in order to do that, um, the first step of your code should always be like input simpy as sp or input or like um, from simpy input asterisk so that you input everything from simpy although you can also use like input simpy sp and then use sp uh, as a prefix whenever you are referring to a function from the SymPy library. So you can either use this or you can like uh, from SymPy um, import star or asterisk. You can do that also. So you can use either of these statements to import SymPy. So then we'll, for the sake of this tutorial, for the time being, we'll ignore this particular statement and then uh, in order to perform integration, symbolic integration, um, what you are going to do is you are going to define the symbols present in your integral equation. So let's say you have you want to perform an integral of the function right here, x squared plus x plus one. So we want to perform a symbolic integration of this particular function. And in order to do that, um, we will declare the symbol present in it. So in our case, we can see that the symbol is called x and there's only one symbol in this particular function. So we will declare the symbol x equals sp.symbols and within quotes we'll write x. Now, uh, keep in mind since um, initially I had imported simpy sp, therefore I'm using sp.symbols. But if you use this particular statement, then you probably don't need the sp. prefix. But yeah, we should like probably just comment that out for the time being. And then we'll use x is equal to sp.symbols and define x in a string uh, to you know be a symbol in our function. And then the um, way to calculate the integral is pretty basic and really easy. Use just say integral equals sp.integrate, which is a function with the SymPy library. And then you pass the function either within, you know, you can either pass this as a string or even without as a string, just as long as the syntax is suitable you know, with Python and SymPy. So you pass the function and then you pass the name of the variable. Now, you know, keep in mind that you have already defined the symbol or not, otherwise it will throw an error. So now if we go ahead and run this code um, and also just, you know, comment out the remaining part. Um, so we don't want to go to the derivatives right now. So, okay, so we are calculating the integral and printing it out. And then if we run this code, then um, you'll notice we'll get the integral that is the indefinite integral of our function that is so since our function was x squared plus x plus one we are getting x cubed by three plus x squared by two plus x which is in fact the symbolic integral however you should also notice that we are not getting the constant of integration so you will probably have to like implement that yourself you want to uh, print out the constant of integration as well since that is not being printed out using this particular function. And also, um, you can even get the string from the user and then just pass the string to this function as I showed you. So you put the function within strings and then within single quotes and then run it again and it will still work as you can notice. So, and also, as I already told you, like um, if you don't, uh, you know, define x as a symbol, then it won't work. So let's say we change the equation to like y squared plus y plus one and then we pass the symbol as y so here basically the second argument so we have the first argument that is the function and then the second argument we have as the um, you know variable with or the symbol with respect to which we are going to integrate our function so if we pass y now then it will throw an error and we'll say that um, you know y is not defined because we haven't defined y. We defined x, but it's not in the equation. And, you know, so it's a whole lot of mess. So you should always define the symbols in the equation with which you will be, with respect to which you will be performing your calculus. 
and that's it so that is how you will be performing you know a symbolic integration and also what you can also do is um, you can even perform um, integration with respect to multiple variables as well so you can have like um, let's say we have a y variable here as well and then we just copy this and then create a symbol for y and now we try to integrate it with respect to y so if we do that then of course this would be treated as a constant so we should get like x squared y plus x y squared by 2 plus y so let's see if we get that or not so as expected we are getting that so we are getting x y squared by 2 um, which is this one and then we are getting y into x squared plus y into plus y yeah so that is what we are getting you can check that in your mind and yeah so that is how you will be performing indefinite integration using python in the simpy library and also you can even perform definite integration by so what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and copy this real quickly and we'll call it definite integration sorry so here we have the definite integration and we'll just use the previous equation and integrate it with respect to x and also um, so this time the way to pro provide the arguments is a little bit different so here this time we'll use the command sp.integrate and then the first argument would of course be the function which is to be integrated and then the second argument you'll use a kind of a list and it would contain three uh, you know values that is the first one would be uh, the you know and also I'm noticing that the ID is calling it a tuple so it's probably a tuple so the first argument is the variable or the symbol with respect to which you'll be integrating then the second and the third variables I'm sorry the arguments are the initial starting point and the final uh, point so you will so this is the initial limit or the starting limit and this is the final limit between which the function would be integrated and now if you you know print out the result then you get the definite integral that is 11 by 6 and you can even check it out in your mind that this is really correct so that is how you will be performing indefinite and definite integration using simpy and python and then one more thing that uh, you can do is you can do differentiation so in order to do that what we'll do is we'll uncomment this part and that is we'll be defining derivative is equal to sp.diff so diff is the command for differentiation and then similar to the syntax for numerical differentiation the first argument is the function and the second argument is the variable or the symbol with respect to which you are going to be di uh, differentiating your function so we'll be differentiating it with respect to x and then if we go ahead and run this program again I'm sorry I forgot to save it yeah so if you go ahead and and also I forgot to uncomment the print derivative line so now you can see that it prints out the derivative of sine x which is cos of x and also what you will notice is since we have already defined y as a symbol if you try to differentiate it with respect to y then it pretty much then it pretty much becomes a constant therefore you will get the answer as zero so that is really cool you can perform symbolic differentiation and integration and one more thing that you must be noticing here in the terminal is that I printed a really neat looking integral in my terminal so that can be done using this particular statement that is sp dot init printing and also with it you'll have to modify the way with which you are printing your integrals so just uncomment this line sp dot init printing and in case you're using from simpy import asterisk then you don't have to give sp every time you're calling a function from the simpy library so just keep that in mind as well and then you will modify the print command by saying like um, you will use um, sp.pprint so pprint is a you know function in the simpy library you'll be using that that is why I wrote sp dot and then you'll use the command um, it would be integral and then you'll paste this particular equation over here sorry okay and then the second argument to the integral command or function would be I'm sorry yeah 
would be the variable with respect to which you are integrating. So that is uh, it. So what this integral command does is it doesn't really, you know, um, print out the integral, but it just prints it in a fancy way that whatever you are providing inside it. So the function would be printed like this, and then dx would be printed since we are giving x as the uh, variable with respect to which we want the integration to be. And as you can see, it is saying that the variable is undefined because I'm using imposed by sp. Therefore, I have to give sp dot integral here. And then if we run this command, then you'll notice says that we are printing a really neat integral equation. And then you can also like give print um, equals integral equals and then print integral and then just run this again and you'll see that the integral equals 11 by 6 so you can do that stuff as well you can print it really neatly using uh, the simpy library as well so it can be used to print a lot of stuff so I'll make sure to add the links to it in the description down below and here is the you know simpy uh, you know documentation for differentiation as well as a lot of other mathematical operations so here in the calculus section you have the documentation for differentiation integration and all that stuff so I'll make sure to add the link to it in the description down below so that is it that is how you perform symbolic differentiation and integration using Python and SymPy in case you guys enjoyed this tutorial then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thanks for watching and have a great day